Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed into law the largest K-12 school budget in state's history with $310 million going towards special education. News 8's Taylor Morris is in the newsroom with more on how this money is going to help students statewide. Taylor. Yeah, Brian, earlier today I talked with the director of statewide education for the Aut Autism Alliance of Michigan. She tells me this record-breaking budget is a step in the right direction. We are thrilled. Uh, that this shift is happening. It, it really is a turning point. The Autism Alliance of Michigan says they are thrilled tonight after Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed the bipartisan education budget into law for the fiscal year 2024. The new school aid budget is offering $310 million in special education funding for schools across the state. So with this shift, it's now a both and approach where every child gets that full foundation per pupil allowance and there's the reimbursement of the recognition of the extra costs and resources that come with um, providing special education services. We spoke to a woman who lives just outside Grand Rapids. She has a daughter with cerebral palsy and says she hopes the funding not only helps the students, but school staff as well. It'll be, it'll be really nice to see that extra money help students and also teachers. I mean, teachers' resources are, are they're sparse at times. The director of statewide education for the Autism Alliance of Michigan says there is still a lot of work to be done. However, with this new budget, the state is one step closer to providing the necessary resources for children with special needs. She also explained how only 58% of students with disabilities are earning a regular high school diploma in the state, compared to the 84% of all students in Michigan, making Michigan the third lowest ranked state nationwide Wide for special education graduates. It's kind of frightening, actually. The graduation rate is so low in the high school level because a lot of them are just going the certificate route, so that means they're going until they're 26 years old. We hope that this funding will be used and directed in that way to support evidence-based instructional practices and, and innovative ways to make sure that we're addressing all the range of needs of students in the classroom. Now, the budget also includes $328 million for mental health and school safety, as well as $370 million to support teachers. We have more about this budget on our website at woodtv.com. Brian.